Let's solve the inequality. We'll start by clearing the fractions because we have all the denominators that go into 24. We can multiply both sides of this inequality by 24. And when we do, we have 24 over 1 times x over 6 plus 24 over 1 times 1 eighth is less than or equal to, we have 24 over 1 times x over 2 minus the 24 over 1 times 3 fourths. Now that we're multiplying fractions, we can divide out common factors. Because the 24 and 6 are both divisible by 6, this simplifies to 4x plus 24 divided by 8 gives us 3 is less than or equal to 24 divided by 2 gives us 12x minus 24 divided by 4 is 6 times 3 gives us 18. Now we can move the x's to the left hand side of this inequality. We'll subtract 12x from both sides and we have negative 8x plus 3 is less than or equal to negative 18. When we subtract 3 from both sides of this inequality, we have negative 8x is less than or equal to negative 21. Now we divide both sides by negative 8. Remember, when you multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number, you reverse the direction of the inequality. So x is greater than or equal to positive 21 over 8. Let's look at the graph. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Where is 21 over 8? Well, we know 8 goes into 21 two times. That gives us 16 with 5 left over. So it's somewhere between 2 and 3. And we can put 21 eighths right about there. We want x greater than or equal to. So we want an arrow going to the right. There's our graph. Our set builder notation is just the set of all x such that x is greater than or equal to 21 eighths. And the interval notation is an infinite interval starting and including 21 eighths all the way to positive infinity.